I actually just saw something really crazy that I've never seen in Japan before. Good morning, Minasan. Anthony in Japan here. Today I wanted to bring you to one of my favorite getaways out of Tokyo. Hakone, ohayou is a mess right now it's raining outside taking the bicycle to the rental space Yenobohato. this is one of the best rental places in japan 20 bucks 12 hours i have a japanese driving license maybe niko niko rent a car might not accept you let me look into that and now i'm going to hakone for some good onsen time then in the evening i'm thinking about heading down hey cafe hey kongi Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> nope, they didn't know if you had to have a Japanese driving license. Anyway, I'm on the road and I'm supposed to meet up with the president. We're supposed to meet up at 11, but now the time changed to 12. Anyway, I'm not in a hurry today. I've gotten used to driving on the wrong side of the road. I've never been driving in the UK, but it's really when we drive on the right side. Not too hard though. Japanese traffic is very safe. Just gotta watch out for the taxi drivers. They're the worst threat. Right, let's go and get a canned coffee and then pick up the ladies and off to Hakone. Buy one, get one free. So while waiting for the ladies, I'm having a protein bar. I had a lot of people in a previous video like, you're in Japan, why don't you just eat sushi or Japanese food every day? I basically do, but if you lived in London, would you eat fish and chips every day? Or in Sweden, would you have meatballs every day? I don't think so. Also, Japan is a great Thai food, Chinese food, Korean food. They have everything here. And I'm on a diet. The selection of protein bars is really improving at the convenience store. Not as big as abroad though. I also got a big water and my coffee. I don't know, I have a sweet spot for this one. I think it's an old British company or maybe American, but they're bigger in Japan. This one is my favorite one of all the convenient coffee. Obviously there are better, more expensive coffees, but this is like $1.20 or something. Also they imply like a tax for the trash bags, plastic bags, 10 cents, 20 cents or something. Let's see where the ladies are. I actually just saw something really crazy that I've never seen in Japan before. Let me get out of the car. Oh, isn't that crazy? I've seen monkeys, I've seen reindeers and deers and like the ski slope, but I've never encountered parrots. And we're right now in central Tokyo. Hopefully we'll see some monkeys on the ride. This is a moment where you in Japanese use the term or the word Yabai. Yabai desu ne.
I arrived at Tenzan Hakone. Like the mountains here, they're really like a jungle with vines everywhere and just these tiny streets, mountains, hills, up and down. Incredibly beautiful. Unfortunately, we didn't see any wild monkeys. I really have to pee. I had like two liters of water. It's a part of my diet. Also, the air is different. Can't wait for an hour in the onsen. They have a rotemburo here, like an outdoor bath. These are for umbrellas. I mean, Japan is safe, but you still put it here, lock it, and then you have the key. I feel great. We weren't able to film in there. I spent about one and a half hour, and then I had a good milk from the vending machine. For about $1.50, you get one of these. Dried my hair a little bit. It's like a long workout being in the onsen. Totally recommend it. We're about to go and eat some soba at a really local place here. And as always, beautiful wooden structures. Japanese architecture is really one of a kind. Incredibly beautiful. Uh, I'm so relaxed, I'm shaking. Also, I think Japan is changing in the way they're looking at people with tattoos. I saw like four or five guys in there with like full body, beautiful Irezumi tattoos. I think like 10, 20 years ago that would have not been accepted. I still have friends who have a hard time at the gym having to tape them over and stuff. Well, I don't have tattoos, so not yet. All the carpenters are using these ones. This is a fairly big one, I think. Made for the Japanese market, but apparently Americans are importing them like crazy back to America. So an accident just happened. I went outside with the e towel that I thought was for free. And someone outside told me, oh, you gotta, you gotta return the towel. You gotta return the towel. And I went to the reception, tried to return it. And instead of letting me return it, they gave me a plastic bag to put it in, to bring home. I didn't steal it. It was for free. right next to here. Pretty bad condition. It's 10 years, right? Termites, someone's feeding the cat in there as well. Let me see. I think it's an old pachinko parlor. It says up there in Japanese. Pachinko. Right next to it, some really fancy shops. Yep, hakias everywhere. Now let's go have some soba.
Really beautiful here. We're lucky it's not midsummer yet. Then the humidity would kill us. Almost. We're back in a rainy Tokyo. I feel like every time we're getting back here. Ah. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ah, aru mo osanai toki nanda. Arigatou gozaimasu. Beauty of uh, putting in gasoline in your car in Japan. They do everything for you. It feels kind of old school. Maybe that's how it still is in America though. In Sweden, it's definitely not. Yeah, they have two guys here. And whenever I'm done, they're like standing there stopping traffic in order for me to get up and then return the car again right i'm still like yeah i drink like four liters of water and with this humidity i'm sweating a lot so return the car and then what am i gonna eat i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'm gonna have tonkatsu tonight i'm looking forward to that So we're back at Niko Niko Renta Car, uh, the place where I rented the car. What did I learn today? I learned that there are parrots in central Tokyo. I had no idea. The air in Hakone is way more fresh than in Tokyo. I, I knew that from before. Uh, I learned that there are way more beautiful restaurants and buildings in Hakone. And I also learned that the tolls in Japan are getting more expensive. What's up with that? And how much did we spend today? 2,600 yen on the rental car, about 20 bucks. Filling in the gasoline was about the same. 2,600, I have the receipt here. Yeah, 2,600 yen. So 5,200 yen, about 40 bucks for an entire day. Then the tolls about 6,000 yen more than the car rental itself food 1,500 yen onsen not even 10 bucks to get in there including a towel I would say about 200 bucks in total for four people so about 50 bucks a person not too bad right we didn't do too much but we saw Hakone had some uh, amazing food amazing time in the onsen yeah just getting away from uh, the big city life for a day and right now I'm gonna return the car get back home get my gym wear and then I want tonkatsu tonight. That's the game plan. So, how did I do with my first ever vlog in English in Japan? Please let me know in the comments and let me know. Oh, uh, that's a mechanic. And please let me know what you want to see next or if you want to see this kind of content. See you soon, Anton in Japan. And please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet.